It's five minutes past one. Now, if you ask me, that seems like a cracking time to do an unboxing session. Let's see what you guys have sent me this time around. I'm gonna dive straight in with this parcel, which I've already opened because I had to check the size of this wonderful t-shirt. Look at this. This is one of the t-shirts from my friend Quang. Look, Azobi Pocket Pixel Design. He does a number of these t-shirts. I think a new one comes out every week. This is the Atari Joystick variation. Isn't it splendid? Hopefully, there's some more on the way as well. There's a note here. It says, um, Hi Peter, there are two parcels in here. One for you and one for Sarah. I hope that you like one. Yes, there's another item in here for Octavius. That's from Matt Geezer D205 on Twitter. Thanks, Matt. I'll pass the other parcel on to Octavius. This is a ZX VGA Joy. Now, this is for plugging a VGA monitor and a joystick into a ZX Spectrum. Proper expansion for it. Imagine that. Plugging a VGA monitor into a Spectrum. I'm looking forward to checking this out, actually, which we will do very soon. Ah, yes. Now, this is one which I have a specific video in mind for. This is actually a LED projector oh, with high resolution and brightness. Mini and ultra thin. Look at that. I'll pop a link below to the company who sent me this, but um, I do have a specific video for this lined up in the near future. Very nice. This looks like it's from Spain. One of the best places on the world for Spanish people. Pinball Dream... Oh, this is the trial version of um, the new Pinball Dreams game for the Amstrad CPC on disc. Oh, if, you, if you haven't seen Pinball Dreams on the Amstrad CPC, it looks incredible. And they've, uh, the people who have made it have sent me the actual complete version. It says trial version, but I think it's all the tables. And for an Amstrad, it looks bloody amazing. Looking forward to trying that. What up next? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, yes. This is an 8-bit do wireless control pad, but it's for the Analog Mega SG, which is an FPGA version of the Mega Drive. And it looks amazing. I'm sure you've seen reviews of it. It feels really heavy in this box, but um, there will be a full review on that coming very soon. Hammering through these parcels, hammering mainly because my car is parked right outside and the parking ticket is about to expire. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This has been knocking around in the office for a couple of months, I think, because I tend to let post build up so there's a good amount to open. But this is the Atari Retro Handheld Console. 50 built-in games. Oh, I thought the front opened up with a nice flap effect. Look at that. Featuring a spectacular <gasps> Featuring a spectacular collection of classic titles, including Asteroids, Adventure Breakout, Centipede, Missile Command, Millipede, Pong, Sword Quest, and many more. Good times. What's this? This one's half open. What? This isn't supposed to be in this pile. This... Oh, it is. So I bought something on eBay. Um, from my personal email, eBay account. And someone recognised my name. Realised that I was Nostalgia Nerd. Um, but apparently they're a fan of the channel. Um, this is why I wanted the NES Magic Key. But he said, uh, I'll give you a refund. You can have it for free. And I'll send you some other stuff as well, which is bloody nice. So we've got the Magic Key NES game converter. Also a 118 in one racing game. Oh yes, I do like it. A TV boy, which I have reviewed. Although you can't get enough TV boys. They are timeless, timeless machines. And some retro games magazines. I've never even heard of it. It looks like a fan publication 
from summer 2001. September 2000. Look at this, January 1997. <laughs> We've got a retro game pamphlet which was out in 1997. Issue 7, how far does it go back? This is before Retro Gamer magazine when people were into the retro gaming scene early. The true retro gamers. Ah, oh, wow, we're going to have to go through these in another dedicated video. I've got so many videos to do. To do. Doesn't make sense. A small box. Let's go fly a box up to the highest heights. Oh, yes. BitBoy. There is a new version of the BitBoy out. This is the new version of the BitBoy, which I do quite like BitBoys. I mean, they're little Game Boy clones, but look, they're just so cute and adorable. Look at, let me just pop this out. Look at that. Look at it. Look, how could you not like that? Packed with, oh, I wouldn't say the latest games because that would be against the general theme of the device, wouldn't it? Again, something to look at soon in a dedicated video. Right, this, which looks like a box of Tangy Toms, is in fact a box of Tangy Toms. This was actually sent, <laughs> again, off the back of an Octavius stream, um, but I collect some of her posts because it's easier to send it to me. And then I get boxes of Tangy Toms, which I might pass on to Octavius. I might not. Good old crisps. Okay, next package. Let's check the time. Oh, traffic warden's gonna be near the car. This is from uh, Retro Gaming Cables, RGB SCART specialists. Um, I was speaking to the chap who runs this via email, and he was just like, "Yeah, hey, do you want some cables? I was like, yeah. I do want some cables because we've got some proper HDMI cables for the Dreamcast. Uh, what's this for? This looks like... Well, it's a PlayStation, I think. And another cable which looks like a Mega Drive. So, oh, that's a Saturn. Saturn cable. But I will be looking at these soon because apparently these are bloody good. These are proper HDMI cables and they output an amazing picture. Sync on Luma. That's what you need. Next package is... This, what's been sent to me from Hong Kong? I hope it's Fooey. What a great cartoon that was. I mean, there's a lot of packaging here, whatever it is. But then that's probably best knowing how some of these things are handled. Oh, this is a, one of the, a few, about a year and a half ago, I did a video on the numpad click watch. This is another click watch. So this is a watch, but Rather than having like a numpad, it's got Nixie tubes in to read the time, which is going to be impressive. It sounds like quite a Tecmoan thing, but I mean, it's massive as well. Look at that. But a watch with Nixie tubes? That is up my street, friends. There's some amazing things here. Next package. Oh, yes. This is X Vision 6. I'm going to have to dig out who's, hopefully I'm putting the names of who sent these in the corner because often there's no indication as to who has sent these. But I've got X-Vision 6, which is, uh, gives you the power of Unix applications on your PC for Windows, Windows for Workgroups and Windows NT operating systems. Wow. Wow. Copyright Visionware 1995. That is going to be fun to dabble around with. MS-DOS and Windows on 3.5 inch discs. Good times. Next up, a packet of incredible glory because it contains Star Trek Generations big box. With a, oh, this is from Electronics Boutique originally. It's got the original sticker on the front. I've never actually played Star Trek Generations. A letter. Hello, Mr. The Nerd. I wish I had more to say than you am do good videos I like, but that's the main gist of this. The fact that you're able to do what you're doing for a living is amazing and it gives me more than a little hope. Keep up the good work and here's for a great 2019. Sincerely, Gordon slash IKI Foo slash King of Space. Well, thank you very much, Gordon.
I'm sure she'll appreciate that. And it does have this Star Trek Generations poster. Ah, oh, look at this. This is going on my wall. Look at this. Picard and Kirk together as one. And look on the back. It's got the Enterprise um, D. Nice. I like it. And of course, it's got the game in there. So that is good. And that will probably good, be good material for a future Twitch stream. Next up is this incredibly light box. A recent delivery containing this pair of TX20 retro stereo game and go headset. So it's like the classic 80s Walkman headphones, but brought up to date for our modern era. One year in design, detail, research and development, Geotech's all new TX range specifically meets the demands for the new generation of consoles and gamers alike. The range delivers on features, quality and design. And it's got a microphone built in, I believe. Oh, it's one of the inline ones. They look pretty cool though, so I'm looking forward to trying those out. All right, on to this, which is a heavy package. Hey, <laughs> many jokes could be inserted. <laughs> and once again, many jokes could be inserted there. So this is a box full of games for Windows, like Lara Croft, Anniversary Edition, Sonic Plus Mega Collection, a, a massive wedge of loose, loose, but DVDs without the artwork, fresh for um, sex to create some of their own in-house covers for them, and then sell on an extortionate price, no doubt. We've got Grand Theft Auto, black and white, loads of sold out discs. I do like the sold out collection. We've got Alpha Century, Theme Hospital, Heroes 3, Civilization 3 Complete, black and white, which is an awesome game. Grand Theft Auto 3, and a massive wedge of other discs. Lovely jubbly, that is quite a haul of stuff building up on the table. Last package, now I know what's in here, this came from Germany, I think, and it has, I believe it has some quite expensive items in, but also, some which I'm going to find useful in the near future. So there's a list of things here I can keep, including a 3DFX Obsidian, an ATI Rage Pro, a Cirrus Logic, a Diamond Monster 3D card, a Jazz Adrenaline Rush 3D, and then he's got a list of uh, cards he sent me which he wants me to return as well. I don't mind having to return stuff, because it's far cheaper than having to buy it outright just to make a video from. Hi Peter, so you finally got my parcel. If I'm counted right, you now have 29 graphics cards in front of you. Yes, 29. Have fun with them, but please don't take too long for your tests. But um, this is from Stefan. Thank you, Stefan. I'm probably not gonna unbox these graphics cards now, but I don't wanna be handling quality graphics cards when I'm probably charged to buggery with static. They are going to be most useful, so thank you very much for that. Quite a lot of videos to make on lots of things. Um, I do need to step up my game on doing videos on these sorts of things, which I am planning to do and will do. So now I've got the new office sorted, I'm going to do a, a presentation, a video, a studio tour for you guys, and then get stuck into some of this and some of the stuff I've got from previous videos, because it's amazing, but I keep getting sent it. I really appreciate it. I really will get stuck into it because, I mean, why wouldn't you? It's bloody amazing. So, in the meantime, thank you for watching this unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to send some things to me, then email me at the email below and we can chat about what you've got in store and what you'd like to see. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.